Psalm 23, one through three. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Now David is a shepherd boy, so of course he uses sheep. It's funny, he doesn't use dogs or pigs, and you gotta wonder why. Well, the truth of the matter is sheep are a little bit dumber than dogs and pigs. And so we're kind of in trouble if he calls us sheep. Because for a sheep, improper management means destruction. I mean, sheep don't have it all together. They eat in the same spot over and over again until there's nothing there, until there's just dirt. They'll lay on a slope until they can't get up, and the shepherd has to constantly look after him. They're defenseless. I mean, dogs bite, cats scratch, even a skunk has an odor, but a sheep can't run or fight. They have weak jaws. But there's one instance where a sheep killed a wolf. You know how? He depended on the shepherd. You see, sheep are directionless. They get lost, they wander, they're dirty, they're not as white as the pictures show us. They hate to be clean. And they're really so foolish that there's so many stories of, you know, a sheep brains being linked together. It takes about three or four of them to get a mildly smart dog. <laughs> so when we look at the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I mean, the text is appreciated when you understand how rough and hazardous the terrain is in relation to a sheep and a shepherd. They're intimate. They know the voice of their shepherd. That's a strong thing to say. Do we know the voice of our shepherd? You know, the Bedouin people who live out in the wilderness, in the desert, they bond with their sheep and the sheep knows the voice of the shepherd. When he says, I shall not want, it means total trust and satisfaction in God alone. In verse two, you make me lie down in green pastures. You lead me beside calm waters. God is teaching us shalom or peace. You see, the shepherd would take care of these sheep and keep them from actually drowning because they're not smart enough to drink from running water. He would dig a trench so that the sheep could drink from it. He allowed them to get drink and refreshment for the tough road ahead. And so trusting in God is also like drinking. We have to trust that God is gonna provide us with the water we need. In verse three, it says, he restores my soul and leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. God provides us with peace and restoration for the battles that we're gonna constantly ensue in life. So the question is, is God your shepherd? He should be. And if he is, you can trust he's a good shepherd.